Last week was a biggie on our narrowboat cafe. Hot off maternity leave, we had some new ideas. We'll do individual cakes that will take less time to cook, hence spending less time baking. And some huge deliveries. I'm just going down on my bike because I think our coffee order's here. This week, after a long winter of DIY, we're reopening. With the last few things to make space for, it needed to be one in, one out. And a mountain of cakes to bake. This is the first time I've baked for absolutely ages. We're going to see if we can remember how it's done. Oh, I'm done. <sighs> and finally get the cafe boat moving again. It's looking like we might not be able to open. <laughs> It's a pretty big win just getting the deliveries, but now it's, it's fitting it all into a small boat now, isn't it? It needs to be one in, one out. You're doing pretty well though. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Down the perils of a tiny space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's basically, that's basically where we are, yeah. Um, I'll run down to the gate now. Can you see the big black gates? That's another delivery that's arrived. Don't know what it is, but um, hopefully nothing too big that we have to fit on or in a cupboard now. Ah. Oh. Is there any knockout box? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Right on time. Yeah, because the one we had before was one that we'd made ourselves. It's pretty ropey and wooden. It's not very good. Can't wait to try out all this stuff. It feels new again. Like everything feels new, even the coffee machine and everything, because it's been quite a while, hasn't it? It's been that long. Yeah, I'm kind of more excited this time round, I think. Yeah, same. Because of it, of knowing what we're doing a little bit more, hopefully. Yeah, only slightly. Mm. It's the day before opening and it's baking day. This is the first time I've, I've baked for absolutely ages. Um, so I'm pretty nervous, but um, Vic's been on a massive mission this morning and like yesterday, just getting everything ready. Um, so he went, I gave him a list of ingredients this morning and he went and got them all. I think he's like got all the milk and everything we'll need for the weekend. So this should be like quite nice. Uh, just a bit of a chilled bake. I'm excited to use the new moulds to see how the individual cakes come out. That might go wrong, like I don't have any recipe for the individual ones so I'm just going to have to sort of um, see about the timing and things like that. But other than that, um, it's going to be like a, a standard brownie, lemon curd and blueberry loaves and I think I'll do some coffee and walnut cakes as well. Okay. I'm just prepping now the baking of the new baking trays for the individual cakes, which I'm pretty excited about doing. Um, only thing is, now I'm going off recipe, so who knows? Don't know how it's going to go. Are they going to stick to the side? Because it's not like I can line all these little ones. This is the. This is by far the most boring bit of baking. I hate lining trays <laughs> and greasing trays. God, it is the worst. But then, if you just do it first, then the rest goes so nicely. <laughs> it's horrible when you have to stop and do it. <laughs> So I've got the batter for the lemon and blueberry cake. That should be ready to go in the oven. 
with the addition of some blueberries in a couple of minutes. I can't be upset if this doesn't go right first time. So I've got to tell myself. The bad thing would be is if just the, these rise like loads and the uh, structure of the cake can't support how much I put in the, like how much they're rising. This is exciting though, if these go well, I'll be so happy. And if they don't, we'll just start, we'll just work it out. Can't get my hopes up. First batch going in. If that looked a bit messy, it was because I was doing it so you could see it on camera, so I was doing it like with my other hand, my left hand. Oh, darn. The, the cake moulds are leaking. How's it looking? Yeah, it's not as good as I thought. Like the, um, there's like little drips, because they're loose based uh, moulds. There's little drips coming down, but I think, I think I know why. I think it's because the butter wasn't softened enough, so I hadn't like, um, mixed into the batter well enough. So where this little butter, um, like, little butter clumps, they're sort of melting and dripping a bit. Mm. So I think that's just like a patience thing. I should have waited till the butter had totally softened. You live and learn. They might recover. There's only little bits coming from each one and the top set have started, the ones I put in first have started to rise already. So hopefully they'll come good. I think they're gonna be okay. The other batch are just finishing up in the oven. And then I've got a bit of an oven clean up before we go for brownies. But the brownies are a tried and tested recipe, thank goodness. Maybe the mixture wasn't the most successful, but what's good about that batch is it took 22 minutes to cook instead of the hour and a half that I normally do the loaf tin. So that's been really good. I've just got to refuel. What are you refueling on? I made some hummus yesterday. It's not because we're worthy. It's just because if we were to keep in the fridge the amount of hummus that we can consume in a week. Oh, we need an extra fridge. We need a third boat. Is this your best batch yet? It is actually. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I, I agree. Think it's because of the chickpeas, different chickpeas this time. Went for a small Eastern chickpea instead of your fat Western chickpea. <laughs> The difference. up from his nap. This is really good though because William's six months old now and I think six months is just about sort of long enough to maybe start convincing yourself that oh, maybe we can't do the cafe anymore or maybe baking days would be too difficult but I know you can't base it all on this one but this day's given, a, given me a lot more confidence. It is quite a challenge filming with William though. We'll say that. Oh, the brownies have just gone in the oven, we've missed it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think that's the, uh, that's more of the challenge. Baking fine, filming fine. Baking and filming. Yeah, and looking Difficult. after William. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, you'll just have to imagine that they went in and it looked good. Mm -hmm. 
We are going to taste test this. It's only right. We're looking for notes on crumb, texture, flavour. That's gone really well. Damn, that's mega. That's really like. Yeah, this is it. That's very satisfying. Yeah. And you get it right in there. Gosh, I think that's over. This has been a really productive few hours. Yeah. If I worked at this pace, uh, like for a full day, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, that'd be factory. That's what I think we'll have to do in future. Because I think we're going to be stopping in busier places this year. So we can't be running out of cake left, right and centre. Probably need to like, um, do four times this amount for a weekend. I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, first batch of coffee and walnuts have just gone in. In the same trays and no leakage. So I think that is because of the mix. Because the butter had more time to soften at room temperature for these ones. So, note to self and to you. Uh, leave the butter out for longer next time. Just do it. Soften that butter, guys. Yeah, don't get impatient. Let your butter soften. <laughs> <laughs> I might take William for a walk, he's getting restless. brilliant today William. You've been a beacon of joy. Okay that's everything. Everything's washed down, cleaned down and we're gonna call it a day I think and then be back in the morning to set everything up. William's had a whale of a time. Yeah he's had a great time. He's a valued member of staff here. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but there's something in the trees. I've heard it before on, on these evenings. Something that's going, Aah! and at first I thought it was a cat stuck up the tree, but I've heard it loads more since then. And it must be like a little baby bird of some kind or something. Although it's been a baby for a while, if it is one, because I've been hearing it for like on and off for weeks. But if anybody knows what that is, put it in the comments below because I can't see it either, like I've, hu I've hung around here for ages and uh, it's invisible to me. I can't, I can't see where it is at all, but I can always hear it. So I'm on Holly. I've got my little checklist that Joe sent me. Check the fridge temp, done, that was fine. Uh, put drinks in the fridge, I've done that also. Wash the cake tin in the sink. I haven't done that yet. Put the coffee cakes in Tupperware. All right, so I'll do that. I've got to put the cakes in Tupperware and then I've got to cover the brownies and then I've got to find a little till system, which consists of a, an iPad and a little iZettle card reader thing. And I've got to put them on charge as well. That's my to-do list. <laughs> Yeah.
Joe usually does all this bit, so I just thought I'd check with her that I'd done the right thing. I wasn't sure if they were supposed to be touching each other or not, but it seems like that's okay, so it's alright with her, it's alright with me. That's our little card reader thing, but it needs charging, so I'll go, I'll take it to the other boat actually, charge it up, and then try and find the iPad. But it's quarter to nine, so I might do that and then maybe try and start editing a little bit because it's Friday night. Not doing so good on that. Good morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Joe and Bill have just gone over to make the buttercream icing. Uh, I'm over here. I'm going to make us some sandwiches for later uh, out of the bread that we made last night. Here's the bread. Turned out pretty well. I think Joe's dug into it for toast this morning already. Just had our first customers of the day. Of the year. Of the year. <laughs> I always plan to do a much better job filming and then it's always just a last minute calamity, isn't it? Until it's sort of like then you open and then before you know it people are there and you're like, oh, and you haven't got anything sorted. Always on the back foot no matter what time. Always on the back foot. How's Bill? First day on the job. He's snoozing on the job. With his track record this is exactly what we expected of him to be honest. <laughs> Bill, we gave you a chance here. Sleepy Bill. Billy, 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 boom, boom. Pretty quiet day at the old cafe, but yeah, pretty nice. What's quite very nice is um, we haven't been able to work together for ages, and I thought that the cafe being open would be another one of those. Like that we've just got to be separate and doing our jobs and that's been really um it's just not been as not been as fun yeah like we wanted to work together that's why we did this whole thing so this is really nice we can chill with bill yeah we can be on the cafe together rather than like taking it in whoa <laughs> taking it in turns <laughs> got the apron back out end of day one yeah not a, not a record-breaking day numbers-wise. No. But we had a great time. Yeah. It was really nice, actually. Now we're just going to punt back over, push back across. It's closing time. <laughs> Morning. We're all over here on Holly now. Um, getting ready to push over to trade for another day. Just having a bit of problem with the coffee machine. There's so many, like Vic's trying to work it out now, but there's so many variables to it, like the the coarsity of the grind of coffee, the timing of the coffee, and it all depends on like the weather and the humidity. Um, so Vic's trying to set that now, but we don't know if the machine's just gone a little bit if one of the machines is uh, working against us a bit. Oops. How was that one? There was two that came through too quickly. <laughs> if we can't get it sorted, it's looking like we might not be able to open. 
because um, we can't advertise our coffee and then say we have no coffee <laughs> and we can't make them coffee if the um if it's just gonna taste bad basically i made the mistake of sort of like changing it two things at, at once or something so like never do that because now i'm just completely thrown off <sighs> but also it seemed to be like i was doing the same thing and getting totally different results so Vic's been um, troubleshooting this for about an hour and a half now and we're meant to be moving over there and open in about 10 minutes. No, oh, not to apply any pressure. <laughs> so sorry for that. How's it going? Yeah, it's okay. I'm in the ballpark now. That's good. So I think now, throughout the day anyway, you make little adjustments. But... Setting off. Away we go. We've got what we've got. <laughs> yeah. It'll have yeah. to do. <laughs> we've got help um, from a lovely couple who watch the videos. So they're, they're Vic threw them the rope and they're helping pulling us across. Well, wow. I think we can officially say now that we have the best viewership of anyone that we know. We know that now because uh, yesterday we came over here, we're on the towpath side again. Yesterday we came over, sort of didn't tell anyone. And um, it, it was a very, very quiet day. This morning came over and it was completely different. We had, we had an army, like people helping us more across and stuff like that. Everybody turned up to buy cake and coffee and stuff like that. So now we can properly say thank you. I think we have to say that. I've always, we, we've always suspected that that to be the case, but now we know that without you lot, we would be destitute. <laughs> 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 so thanks for that. We don't say thank you enough, partly because we're always afraid that it sounds Morning. insincere, like that everybody says the, the same kind of things like, oh, thanks guys, but we mean it. Even really, just thanks for watching. Even if you can't show up, just uh, thanks for checking us out. <laughs>